So our mood board today, I'm starting with flowers. There's nothing quite as inspirational as the, the color of petals and lupins, ranunculus, and soft apricots and peaches and pinks. Creating your own special palette, your own language of colors to express yourself will be one of the most fulfilling aspects of designing your home. I'm gonna start the board just with these two very neutral wallpapers, but I'm really fond of this new paint color called Pink Salt. I love that color, it's almost neutral. And so I'm gonna build up from there, just as we've sort of seen with, with the flowers. Really beautiful textured linens, Brera Moda, so a little soft color, then a stronger, and a velvet. So we're already building our textures. This medium allows for an exploration of color, texture and pattern like no other. To see how your ideas will work before you even place a brush stroke. Then I'm going to add this earth tones color called Royal Crescent. And I love that mixture. I'll probably use um, Royal Crescent actually on the ceiling and the doors and then the walls will be in pink salt and the wallpaper might go into the hall. This is a really good scheme for a living room that I'm working on. And here we're adding some more cut velvet. So I'm building up these warmer colors and, and keeping the very neutrals as well. And don't forget on your mood board, you can remove the different ingredients as you go along. I might add this um, abstract Fleur du Jour fabric, it's called. And I could add a sort of neutral but almost lime green color. This is a spring tulip and add a little bit of limes and greens in that scheme. And you see it completely changes the character of it. And that's what's, that's what's fun. Maybe this is the entrance hall, which is sort of slightly lime, and then you're going into the sitting room, which is more neutral and blossom colors. What we're actually doing in this is creating, on a very small scale, the end result. And that's what's so exciting and useful about mood boards. So on this scheme, it's a very similar color scheme, but I've just upped the volume of, of the shades. And in fact, use this gorgeous Grandiflora rose as the inspiration for all the colors in the room. Um, and how gorgeous is that with it? So we've got these sort of pale colors on the walls. I'm using a little bit of our new Corda, um, corduroy velvet to add texture, and then a plain cotton velvet with a linen and a cushion of this soft yellow to remind us of the curtain fabric. So this room set is a result of the mood board that I just created. I've just added the wonderful Grandiflora rose panel and the curtains Grandiflora and, and all of those same colors come together in this very warm, rich setting. Do remember that at Designers Guild, that's what we do all the time. And we're really happy to help you and to inspire you and put those mood boards together.